Justine, I do have to ask you, uh, are you ready for the rest of your career to have people <laughs> approaching you on the street wow, and saying, OK, just person. tell me, did she do it? Like, are, are you ready to answer that question over and over and over again? We don't need uh, ladies, this is a huge honor for me. I am obsessed with this film. It is a masterpiece. So thank you for taking the time. I appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, uh, I'm going to jump into this. And Sandra, I'm going to start with you. Um, I have to confess, I am fascinated with this concept that you as an actor never actually decided one way or the other whether or not Sandra committed this murder. And I would love to just hear how you were able to navigate this character without making that decision. And do you think a time might ever come where one day you do make that decision? You know, I think the whole the whole ambiguity of the film and that what it does to audiences that they never know where which way to go uh, and if they sympathize or not, that the only way to do that was not to decide for myself. I always thought when I look at some murderers in history, they also were convinced of their own innocence. So it doesn't, it didn't matter if she did it or not, because you just want to win. And you want, in, in her case, she really wants to protect her son. She doesn't want him to be alone. And uh, of course she wants to, you know, protect her own life and what people think of her and, you know, all these things. So I just had to decide that I really wanted to I wanted people to believe what she's saying, and that's actually what Justine wanted me to do. So we were kind of on the same page for that. I had the impulse to go <laughs> in a direction that I normally would have gone before to know exactly what happened and to defend this, these facts to the end. But Justine didn't give me the facts, so I, I decided to let go of it because it wouldn't have made sense to, to, you know, to try to get hold of it uh, any longer. Justine, I do have to ask you, uh, are you ready for the rest of your career to have people approaching you on the street wow, and saying, OK, just person. tell me, did she do it? Like, are, are you ready to answer that question over and over and over again? Yeah, it's it's already like this <laughs> since few months. So so I'm ready. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm becoming an expert of uh, avoiding <laughs> the there, to, to escape the game, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm picturing you in like 20 years just finally throwing up your hands in the air and going, fine, I'll come up with an answer. We'll do this. We'll do it. <laughs> um, but, but Sandra, to your point, I was at a, um, a party one time and a lot of us started talking about this film. And we all, of course, had interpretations on the ending and had theories. And, and I felt like I learned a lot about people by how they interpreted the ending or the innocence or the guilt. So for both of you, I'm sort of curious, the film's been out for a little bit. You've had conversations with people. What do you feel like you have learned about audiences, about your your own friends and family, based on how they interpret the end of this film? Well, not only the end, people are really looking for little signs of what the truth could be. I was surprised that even the closest members of my family were doubting the innocence of Sandra. Um, also, according to little signs that they saw, for example, somebody really close to me said that uh, she, when she is released from the trial, when, when they win, she says on the phone, it's unbelievable. And this close person said, why does she think it's unbelievable when it's actually, the, you know, so these little things or the dog doesn't close his eyes. No. In the end, that means he's still aware of what could really, you know, <laughs> no idea. But people were so focused on the little <laughs> things that they found these details and made their own stories about it. So I learned, of course, a lot of a lot about the people and their their reception and uh, their I mean, we knew that when we made the film that the film would reflect yeah. back on people so much and everybody would read their own story into it. We would just make, give the canvas for the stories of everybody else. So this really paid off. Justine, does Snoop not close his eyes during the, the, I, this is the first time hearing of this. I feel like I have to go back and rewatch this entire movie now. <laughs> this is a crazy, the craziest story of a, okay. There uh, were different takes, right? Yeah, yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yes, I think you, 
we have to to live in all this yeah with all these uh, different uh, lectures sorry uh, of the theories or the theories, readings of the yeah theory. about the movie but you know actually i think the movie is talking about the we have to live with doubts you know so so yeah and and the end for me is yes it's a fake happy end you know so <clears throat> It's uh, it's like this, and I think, as an audio, as a spectator, when I, I'm I'm watching a lot of crime stories, and I'm I'm yes, I, I like it like a lot like a lot of per person, and I think uh, I think it's so interesting to not knowing, you know, and it's so real in a way. So all the the movie is about this. So I understand perfectly why people want to know, but you know, <laughs> maybe in ten years I will say. And uh, the truth. <laughs> yeah, you promised well, I'm gonna to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as as someone who just as a, a lover of films, I love movies that engage that, that get us talking to each other and and get yeah. us arguing with each other and debating. And and I kind of don't ever want you to give the answer because I love for the rest of my life being at dinner parties and arguing with people about this. So thank you for making such an a powerful, incredible. Truly remarkable film. I know you have a very busy schedule these days. So uh, congratulations you. on all the nominations and, and future so wins. And thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.